Good morning and welcome to How to Love Living. My name is Jeremy and the purpose of this podcast is to really sit down and talk about our approach to life and really to get to a place of being with life and enjoying it and getting some value out of life, especially with all the struggles that we have. So this episode, usually I have pre-prepared content and I have a lot of content that, you know, I, I got a lot of episodes written out, but I want to feel passionate about them. And this week I'm just not, you know, passionate about it, but I think it's just the busyness of life that, you know, kind of drew the passion out of me. So at the moment... I just want to talk a bit about just busyness in general and how to navigate through that and how to work when it's busy. So in my career, we're at probably the busiest time of the year and it keeps everyone just really at a place of You know, like for me, I was working evenings and weekends to get some projects done. I completed them for the most part, so I'm very happy about that. But it is very busy. And what I'll say to that is when it's very, very busy, it's nice for me. It's nice because then time flies by. It... It's nice because I can see progress on my projects and the things I'm working on both professionally and personally. The difficulty with it is, is it's a slog. Like, it's just you're managing one thing, then the next, then the next, then the next. And it all kind of just runs together as far as time, the work, and that sort of stuff. And... You do need to give yourself moments or quote unquote breathers between the work. And I know, like, my challenges are not the same as other people's. So your challenges may be more extensive. What I'll say to that is, is you really should just do the best you can with what you have. But when you're in moments of busyness, you really do have to pick and choose two things. One, what you're going to do, what things you're going to tackle when you're busy. You know, what is the priority items? What are the things where, you know, I, I kind of look at work this way. I kind of look at it as you're a doctor in a hospital. You're the only doctor. And you have a waiting room full of patients, i.e. work. And so you have to prioritize. So how do you prioritize that work? Well, you need to help those that are most hurt. So the more important priority task, then you need to manage the yellers and screamers. So these may not be priority tasks, but they are coming to the attention or they have something that's really important, so you have to manage those as well. So you're balancing between trying to get the priority stuff done and then trying to work with the yeller and screamers. And then in between that, you're really trying to manage through as much as you can of just normal patients who are bringing in just normal things. And so then you got to be judicious and figure out, okay, what things... Do I need to address what things can I put aside? What things can I accomplish? And it's a real skill set to figure that out. It's a real skill set. And this is both personally and professionally. It's a big skill set to be able to manage through that much work. 
but above and beyond that, then you have obligations for yourself as far as your personal care. You have like obligations for your family. You have obligations that can be within a range or spectrum of many things. So I think the biggest part of busyness is the struggle of picking and choosing what things you're going to work on, picking and choosing the things that are important and letting the rest go. And so there's a few projects in my personal life where I'm like, oh, I want to work on this and I want to work on this. And the reality is, is I had to let it go. And that's one of the difficulties with busyness is definitely making those decisions to let something go knowing and certainly like knowing you can force yourself to do it but are you going to be engaged are you going to be able to get the things done that need to get done in a way that's intrinsic to you especially if the thing I'm thinking about right now is just my personal project so I want to learn more about Adobe After Effects and, and those that sort of stuff and it's really difficult right now to address that because I'm working a lot. And so the things I can handle right now are the work that I'm trying to get done and almost have completed. And then as well, I can handle the downtime. So, you know, doing self-care, which I think is very important. And so I'll choose self-care over my personal projects. I think it's difficult. I think it's difficult to let go of something not getting accomplished that you wanted to, even if it's minor. And... I think there is a bit of acceptance that has to and reconciliation that has to really be looked at. So you have to really do some soul searching and say, okay, Jeremy, you're not going to be able to do the after effects stuff. You want to, and that's something that is important for you. It isn't necessary, but it's something that you would like to do. So now that things are starting to slow down, I can start looking at those projects and, you know, working on them a bit more in my spare time. I recently took a lot of video footage that I want to edit together. So I'm going to use this video footage as a way to dip my feet into both after effects and um adobe premiere which is the video editing software my goal being that eventually i want to start producing youtube videos and videos kind of surrounding this content for this podcast so i can actually produce video content that will supplement some of the things that you know i talk about in this podcast and i'm passionate about the podcast like i think that the content of the podcast is important. That's where I had to pick and choose. So I want to make sure that I get the content out that I want to get out for the podcast. So my commitment is every Sunday getting a podcast recorded. So I usually record Saturday or Sunday. Lately, it's just been Sundays. I find Sunday mornings are really nice to just wake up put my thoughts together and then record. So usually I'll spend, you know, like Friday night or Saturday night or Saturday day just organizing things and then Sunday recording. And that's worked out really well. So I tried to, be, to do that this week and I sat down, I have probably about eight or 10 podcast episodes planned out. And I sat with it and I kind of vacillated between a lot of the different podcast episodes. And in the end, I couldn't do any of them. And I realized that this week was going to have to be kind of an off the cuff week because I just wasn't passionate about the content. And I really 
when I'm talking about something, I want to be passionate about it. And right now I'm passionate about busyness because that's all I've experienced lately. So with self-care, you have to be judicious in what that looks like. What does the downtime look like for you? And picking and choosing your stress battles. So you can't take on all the stress in the world. You just can't. No person is capable of doing that. And so what you have to do is you have to pick and choose. Well, these are the stress battles I'm going to take on. And these are the things that I want to work on. So definitely, when you're going through and looking at the amount of information you're taking in, the amount of stress you're taking on, be judicious about that, especially when you're busy and you're stressed out. It's important to not open the floodgates when you're stressed out. Manage the things coming in. Manage what gets your attention. And then I put, basically when I'm very busy, it's two things I prioritize. One is the busyness and the most important work that needs to get done. And then two is personal self-care. So definitely, as you are working through that, keep that, be cognizant of that. And sometimes I've had to put friendships aside, like, or partners aside, or what have you. Now, if you have family, you can't necessarily put them aside. But what you can do is you can get the things that need to get accomplished done with them, and then, you know, make sure you're giving attention to yourself and partnering with your loved ones to kind of manage through it. If the stress is long term, unless you love that existence, I would be figuring out how to mitigate it, like figure out where you can shortcut some of the busyness or figuring out if the busyness is just too much. And it may be that if it's long-term business and you're not getting a lot of value out of it, then maybe it's too much. Maybe you have to set and revisit why are you doing the business and that sort of stuff. But if it's busy all the time and you thrive in that and you love that and you're getting a lot of value and you're producing a lot of value, I say jump on in. Do you do you, like I always say, but for me, I do need a balance. I can't have just busyness all the time. I like to be productive and I like to have many things going on at once. Um, and that's just because my brain doesn't operate in the spectrum of, okay, I'm just doing one thing. I can't do that. So usually I have like two, three or four things going on at once. And then I'm thinking about, okay, tonight I want to do blah, blah, blah. And like on my to-do list, I do a daily to-do list, both professionally and personally. And that to-do list can have multiple items going on some simultaneously. And I don't know how I manage it, but I do manage it. So I don't know. Um, it's just the way it is. So what I'll say to that is work within the realm of your capabilities. Do the things you need to do. And then you got to let the rest go and put priority on self-care. And I definitely think every person needs self-care. That self-care could be meditation. That self-care could be doing sports. That self-care could be taking a bath or reading a book or what have you. For me, the self-care usually encompasses a bath and cleaning the house. I And I, I, it's weird. I don't know why cleaning the house gives me a lot of self-care. But I think having my house in order and having a sense of control over that makes me feel really good. So I usually pop on an audiobook and then get the vacuum cleaner out and I'm in heaven. Um, I know that sounds pretty weird, but hey, we're all weird in our own ways. 
Anyway, I think that is pretty much the conversation topic for this week. I apologize this week has been a shorter episode, but it's been busy, and I appreciate everyone that's listening to the podcast. I hope that the busyness topic is something that resonates with you and something that when you're in busyness that you can reflect and think upon and think, okay, I'm going to prioritize these things and let this go and prioritize some self-care in there. I know things on the national level can be distressing as well. My feelings about that is I can only take on so much. So I, I have been limiting the amount of news I'm taking in at the moment and trying to just focus on the work I need to get done and the things I need to get done. Unfortunately, my wherewithal is very low. So I got to just do the things I need to get done and then navigate through the rest as it needs my attention. And right now, the national level, you know, I love and care about our country and I love and care for the people in our country. But I also know there's nothing I can do by paying attention to it. So at the moment, I'm taking a break from that and just focusing on the things that are important to me. And so this week, I am looking forward to kind of getting back into the role of things. This, this week will be easier just because the busyness is diminishing a bit. So now I can start you know, focusing on these projects, focusing on quality and that sort of stuff. But I think there is a bit of just acceptance of what is. And then when things change, being ready for that change. Um, oh, and one more update on my goals. Right now, I'm in the middle of a goal. To, well, of course, my goal is to get the podcast out weekly, but I'm working on my goal for the YouTube videos and I'm working on just some personal goals. One is getting back into running. So I'm prepping myself for that with, um, you know, just being healthier and getting to a better point. And it's just one step in front of the other. It's continual. You get up every day. You just put one foot in front of the other. You falter. You let the faltering go. And you jump back on and try every day to do your best and try harder. Anyway, thank you for listening to this week's podcast. If you want to reach out and just say hi, you can reach me at contact at howtoloveliving.com or you can go to howtoloveliving.com and reach me on the contact page. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing week. I hope that if you're busy, this resonated with you and I will see you next week and thank you very much for listening. Have a great week. Bye. Thank you.